Well, everybody goes to the internet, and sometimes those facts aren't so good. So some websites have a one, and you know, we were talking about being a dietitian and registered dietitian, and part of uh, being a registered dietitian is there's some, you know, um, subgroups, or we call them practice groups. And one of them is called the SCAN, which is Sports and Cardiovascular Nutrition nutritionist and so that's what I'm a member of that's what a lot of sports dietitians are members of and they trade information on those websites and that's it's called scan.org and if you go there you can find things for athletes and for professionals even your coach could go there and find some further things the other is eatright.org so e a t r i g h t .org is the American Dietetics Association website. So it will link you into things if you put, um, you know, girls athletics or sports nutrition for women or something like that, they could, they could have it um, get there too. Um, and it brings up the books and some of the other media that is available for nutrition and sports, which um, certain people have books. This is one that's it's called Fuel for the Young Athlete. It's by Amy Litt or Ann Litt. It's available on Amazon. If you went on Amazon and found some of the other authors, Nancy Clark is a is a dietitian, has been a dietitian for a long time, who is, is well respected. Ellen Coleman, C O L M A N, is another dietitian who's done a lot of work. I mean many years. So they kind of put it all together. She, Ellen's uh, book, I think, is Eating for Endurance, and Nancy Clark's is Sports Nutrition Guidebook. She also has ones for um, uh, uh, sports specific. So she has a cycling book. I think she has a running book. So that's the other thing is if you're in soccer, to, to look for one that's more geared to that. And, and looking for um, credentials, because this is Master of Course Science, and then RD is, the, is what is this registered dietitian. So when you're looking for nutrition information, find out where that person got some of their training from. If they did a, you know, a certificate in you know, two months, or you know, it, they might not have all of the things that, that you need. When I was doing research or I'm gathering or asking someone to find something further, a lot of times the universities, you know, such as, um, should I say, Different colleges like Duke or um, or uh, Tufts or Cornell or you know Cal Berkeley or Stanford. These are places that some of them do research in this, and so it's it's a good aspect to um, uh, that their their stuff should be pretty credible.